we think things and see things and do things that we know are not going to sit inside the boundaries of the expectations. We often don't quite live in the same kind of community that many people who attend church regularly do. As a musician, I have experienced some extraordinary moments with music on stage in front of people. And music for me is, that, is, that, is about that interaction with people. For many years, I, like lots of artists, my wings were being clipped and I wasn't really being myself entirely. As an adopted person, I understand fully what it means to be adopted into the body of Christ. Um, my adopted parents adopted a little kid, had no idea what he would turn out to look like or sound like or do. And for fast forward 40, 40 odd years later, um, I've been to North Korea and Afghanistan and they don't necessarily understand what I do, but they love me regardless. And I see that as a clear um, parallel with the body of Christ. One of the things I read and see in the Gospels is, is Jesus' dialogue to affirm people in who they really are and to release them into what they're really able to do. How can we love people enough for them to feel safe and justified in doing what they're called to do? It's about trusting people to go and do things that they know they should. If we know we're made in the image of God and the creator of the world, surely we have a, a mandate to be original also. I believe that we are called to be culture changers. To try not to copy the, the, the the cultural norm. The body of Christ needs people of vision and energy and, and colour. Artists need, first of all, to know they have permission to explore the, their own journey of creativity, to find their voice, to find their story. As a collective church globally, if we could do that, I believe that we'd see immense changes and immense, um, incredible stories coming from vast, corners of the world. We're taught what's, what is the story and what is the story to be told, but actually what's m way more powerful is to hear people's personal stories, their own journey. So this is exactly what we'll be doing, interviewing and capturing stories on film, going deeper into the individual struggles and definitive moments of this generation of creative leaders and exploring their place as valid and valued members of the body of Christ. An inspiration, not only for this generation, but for those who will follow in our footsteps. I started to see that we are becoming the elders for the next generation and that it's not all about what I do out there, but it's, it's how that speaks into the world around me. Ultimately, a, a film like this and a dialogue like this is about seeking out the light bearers and, and asking and saying, come on, what does your light look like when you switch it on? And what have you seen? If it's authentic, has the potential to to bring all that alive and help us, all of us, young and old, to look at that hope that is beyond the beauty of this world.